Welcome to our Life Group Leader training videos. Uh, this is just a bunch of informal videos to help and equip you as a Life Group Leader to lead a great Life Group. And so today what we're going to be talking about is just about creating a great atmosphere and an environment for people to come to Life Group. You know, atmosphere is incredibly important. Um, things grow in great atmospheres. Um, we see, you know, on an atmosphere of, of, uh, of the moon, uh, nothing grows, okay? But an atmosphere of Earth, where it's got the right water conditions, the sunlight, it's got the right uh, atmospheric conditions, air, it allows things to grow. And so sometimes uh, the atmosphere in a life group is so important because it's either taken away from growth or it's adding to growth. And what we want life groups to be is not a cold you know, um, bright uh, environment, you know, where people can feel like they're isolated. Uh, we want it to be an incredibly relational context, you know, where people can become friends and it's relaxed. And so what happens in those kinds of uh, environments is that people bec become themselves, they take the mask off, and they begin to grow in relationship with people. And that is the precursor of great spiritual growth. And so atmosphere is vital. And so I just want to give you some keys that, that can help you create a hospitable environment and atmosphere for that. Um, music is always a great environment and always atmosphere creator. Uh, you know, when people walk in, if the room is quiet and silent and maybe they're the first few people there, man, it's, it's, it's a difficult room to walk into. Uh, but uh, music, especially music that they can recognize and relate to, creates an atmosphere. Think about restaurants. Uh, think about um, even as a church, we're always playing music because music takes the silence out of the room and, and actually intentionally designs an atmosphere. So the kind of music you want to be playing is uh, music that encourages relationships. You don't want to be blaring your music or heavy metal. You know, those, th that's awesome. Do that uh, in your, you know, when you're listening to it yourself, but you want to help very relaxing music. Uh, I wouldn't play too many. You, know, you can play your favorite Christian songs as well. Um, but that could disconnect some people. Uh, but just play great, fun background music that creates an atmosphere of welcome. Hey, we're glad that you're here. Hey, we've prepared this place for you. Uh, the next atmosphere creator is that when people come into the room in, and they arrive at the house, welcome them, you know. Say hi, find out about their day, tell them where to go. And if they're new, please tell them where the bathroom is, tell them what you're going to be doing there, and just begin to talk to people and find out about their day and about their week. Catch up, you know, like your friends. And for new groups, it's obviously going to be a little bit difficult because everybody that's coming isn't necessarily, you know, you're in a relationship with. So just take time to welcome them and greet them and, and help them. Uh, we find that in life groups that serve food or snacks and coffee or tea, that kind of stuff, relation, the relational quotient goes up. You know, there's something to talk over. You know, it's not this awkward fiddling with hands and trying to find discussion. When people come in, hey, hi, it's so good to see you. Do you want to have a cup of coffee? we got somebody making some coffees. It's brilliant. Uh, maybe you just got, you know, Nescafe. Um, just be honest about that. Come out about your, you know, your struggles in life and tell them you've got Nescafe. But that's, it's not about um, what you give them. It's just giving them something that you can relate over, you know. If it's Nescafe and some tea or some biscuits or some chips, you know, cake, do that. Well, what, in our life group, we've decided we're going to go with themes. You know, my wife, uh, Lara, she's uh, put a theme for every single week of life group. And, and it's colors. Can you imagine colors? Like pink, blue, yellow. Imagine serving someone blue food. We didn't put, like, dye on it. Don't worry. But it's just creating something um, that pe whenever people come to life group, there's something for them to enjoy while they're there, um, you know, food or snack or some coffee. It's an amazing conversation holder just doing that and helping people feel at home. And that's what you want to do, help people feel at home. So your first 20 minutes of life group may just be connecting with people, welcoming them, finding about their lives, finding about their day. Um, so those are great atmosphere beer creators. Um, if you can try get the room warm, that's another great atmosphere creator. And then at the end of life group, you know, don't just say, cool, bye everybody, goodbye, you know. Just say, hey, is there anything, you know, can we just catch up with you about? Or, or maybe you want to offer them coffee or something to drink again before they leave. 
And then feel free to say, cool guys, thanks so much for coming to Life Group. It's been awesome. Um, we'll see you next week. And just being warm like that already takes the barriers around people's hearts. You know, some people are coming into a life group scenario and they don't know what to expect. Man, just help them feel welcome. Well, I hope this has been a helpful video tip for you. Uh, enjoy your life group.